In this video, we look at simplifying a rational expression. A rational expression is a polynomial divided by another polynomial. To simplify, completely factor the numerator and denominator and use the fact that any expression divided by itself is equal to one. Let's do some practice. We are asked to simplify the rational expressions below. So we'll start with this one. We have 2y cubed minus 18y over y squared minus 3y. So in order to know if we have any common factors in the numerator and denominator, we have to factor. So always look for a greatest common factor first. Here I have a two and an 18. They're both even, so I know I can pull out a two. So I'm gonna write a two out front. And then I always take the variable to the lowest exponent that there is. So in this case, y to the first, or just writing a y, would be the lowest exponent. And then I look what would be left in each term. So here I would have a y squared left. It's kind of like reverse distribution. I pulled out the two y, so now I have y squared left. And here I pulled out the y and I pulled out a two, so there's just a minus nine left. So I factored out the greatest common factor. And in the denominator, I have a common factor of y. So I would have y, and then I would have y minus three left over. Now in the top, in the numerator, I'm not done factoring because y squared minus nine is the difference of two squares. So I know that that can actually factor more. And the difference of two squares is always the square root of the first term plus the square root of the second term. So y plus three in this case times the square root of the first term minus the square root of the second term, so y minus three. And then the denominator is already fully factored. Not sure what happened there. Okay, so I, in the denominator, I have my y and my y minus three. So now I wanna look at um, what might cancel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look for common factors in the numerator and denominator. So y is in the numerator and in the denominator. So those cancel and just leave me with a one. Remember, any expression divided by itself is equal to one. And then I have y minus three over y minus three. Those cancel and just leave me with a one. And so I will end up with a two on the top and a y plus three. So I'll have two parentheses y plus three. Everything else canceled and gave us a one. So two times y plus three will be my final answer. So that would be the simplified rational expression. Let's try another one. We have two minus x over x minus two. Now, right now, they look very similar, but they're not exactly the same. If I wanted to make them look exactly the same, I would need to have the same signs on the numbers. But I can actually accomplish that if I factor out a negative one from the top. So if I factor out a negative one, this would become negative two plus x. It would switch the sign of each term in the parentheses. So I have negative one times parentheses negative two plus x, and then in the denominator, I have x minus two. Now, addition and subtraction are commutative. You can 
change around um, which one is written first, as long as you keep the sign with it. So it, I could switch this to look like a positive x minus 2. So I'm going to write that as x minus 2. Now it looks exactly like the denominator, x minus 2. And so those would actually cancel. And so if I look at the x minus 2 over x minus 2, those cancel and leave me with a 1 up here. And then I have negative 1 times 1, which would just give me a negative 1. So the simplified rational expression here is just a negative 1. All right, we have one more here. We have 6v plus 5 over 5v plus 6. Now these are not the same because in the numerator, the 6 is attached to the v and the 5 is by itself. And in the denominator, the 5 is attached to the v and the 6 is by itself. And so this is already simplified. There's no factoring that I can do. There's no cancellation. And so it is okay if you cannot factor it all or cancel anything to say that it's already simplified. So first step, look for a greatest common factor in the numerator and the denominator, and then look to see if you can factor any more. We will get more practice when we multiply and divide the rational expressions.